Monica, when a child grows up and moves out of the house, moms and dads experience what's called the empty nest syndrome. But data just released by the U.S. Census Bureau indicates something new is taking place in a lot of U.S. homes, something that doesn't even have a syndrome named after it just yet. So Fox 2's John Pertzborn is going to give it one. He calls it the aging nest syndrome. Would you want your mom and dad to move in with you? No. <laughs> no. This is the famous artist Mary Inglebright. Would you ever consider moving into your son's house? Oh my God, no, no. My mom probably will be okay, but not my dad. He'd drive you crazy? Yeah, he'll drive me crazy. <laughs> Dads will do that, you know. When you ask, the reaction isn't masked. That's insane, no. No, I don't think so. Insane? Well, here's a fact for your brain. More parents are moving in with their kids. It's up 67% from 2000 to 2007. That is a U.S. Census Bureau fact. How long were you married before mom moved in? Six months. Oh boy. <laughs> it wasn't the plan. No. It wasn't the plan. Just one of those things. It happens. John Collette's mother-in-law got sick. He and his new wife had a spare room and in moved Avis. Avis Burrow. Like a donkey with a W on the end. With a maiden name more like an outlaw than an in-law. My maiden name was James, like Jesse James. Any relation? Yeah, my dad was a Jesse James. Despite that genealogical fact, John never feels under the gun. Working from home as a computer software designer, he also cooks and cleans for Avis and her little dog too. Yeah, I'm with my mother-in-law as much as I'm with my wife, I think. John's a pretty good carekeeper. He's a nice guy. Yeah, most of the time. Does he ever get on your nerves? Eh, yeah, maybe once in a while, not often. Avis admits, if she didn't need that walker parked over there, she wouldn't need to be one of the 3.6 million parents crashing inside of their kid's crib. Avis's 97-year-old mom feels the same way. In fact, mom still lives alone in Missouri's boot heel. I don't think she'd want people living with her. <laughs> John Pertzborn, Fox 2 News. And by the way, uh, John says he's looking forward to moving in, into his son's house at one day. He plans to leave his dirty socks right in the middle of the floor, just like 13-year-old Nick does now. I don't think Nick would like that. Mm -hmm. I don't think at all. It's called paybacks, though. Right. <laughs>